The best competition is an opportunity for students to pitch their idea to a group of investors for the purpose of turning around and actually starting that business. We are very lucky to have an excellent group of investors who not only are willing to provide capital to help the students get their business off the ground, but they're very free with their time to mentor the students, respond to emails. Uh, they're just a great group of investors. We look at the idea. Do they have something unique uh, that will allow them to win over the current uh, people in the marketplace? Then we go and look at the individual or the team. Uh, number one, do they have the technology and the business skills to make this idea work? Once they're done with the competition, once they've received the money, they have to turn around and start that company. So before Campus Protein, I hadn't lifted a weighted day in my life. And I had joined a fraternity, Delta Tau Delta, and my pledge brothers convinced me that now that I'm in a fraternity, I need to start lifting, I need to start going to the gym, which I ended up doing. And about once per month, my pledge brothers would go to GNC, and they would spend anywhere between $150 and $200 on supplements. So I knew there had to be a better way. And I asked them, why don't you guys just buy these supplements online? And they said, well, you know, we could, but it's going to take five days to get it, and we need it today. Obviously, college students aren't the best planners. So I wanted to create a solution that combated both those problems, the price and the convenience. And that's how Campus Protein was born. We provide prices that are about half of your local store, and we offer the convenience of same-day delivery. The extended analog computer would identify and classify signals in the human nervous system. Uh, the goal being to use this technology to control advanced prosthetics or to restore feeling in a nervous system that was damaged somehow. I went to the people I knew at the IURTC, said I was interested in licensing that technology and building a company around it. Every once in a while, you stumble across an industry, like finding a cave that no one's ever discovered before. And that's what we did when we first found that all of these people who do outside inspections on energy, huge infrastructure projects, the environment, are all using paper. And so we set out to try to find a way to meet this enormous global need with innovative new software products. We built a system that allows you to remotely manage a field staff so that way they can collect data on tablets out in the middle of nowhere without an internet connection and this can all be for the first time synced with the web. So the best competition was one of the most exciting and nerve-wracking experiences of my life. I entered the contest completely on a whim. I was Googling world's largest business competitions and Indiana University's best competition was the first hit. It was interesting being in the best competition because at, at first I really wasn't sure that I was going to have an idea mature enough. Um, when we started rolling down the road and the idea started to mature, I became very excited, it was fun. And the day of the competition, you know, of course I was a little nervous, but uh, it went really well, the, especially the, the question and answer session at the end. The judges are there to help. I mean, they're not there to uh, make you nervous. They're not there to um, beat you up for your idea. They're there to make you think about the marketability of your business, the long-term viability, and that feedback that they give you is what you're going to leave the room with. To the extent that you receive a check at the end as well, all the better. But the education that you receive through the competition is really what it's all about. My advice for future best competitors is number one, know your numbers when you go in there. Number two, know what gives you a competitive edge over your competition. Make sure you're solving a problem and most importantly, know how you're gonna make money. You have to jump in with both feet. And even if you don't see where you're going to land, it's that degree of commitment that really forces you to make this, the decisions from your gut and to find the right people and to inspire people to follow you because without getting the right people on board and making people believe in your vision and you're not being fully committed, you don't have a chance of success. But with all of these pieces together, you've got a shot. I think at least our success comes from attention to detail, our focus and our self-motivation. Since we received the investment, um, following that, our first year, we had a 525% increase in sales, and this year we're projected to grow 300% and do well over a million dollars. Another benefit of the, 
best competition is its ability to provide me access to people and resources that are really able to help this company succeed, such as the uh, Speech and Hearing Sciences Department here at IU and the Indiana University Research and Technology Corporation are both instrumental in helping us be successful as a company. This amazing experience wouldn't have been possible without the School of Informatics and Computing as well as Indiana University and I have both of them to thank for that.